This is part three of the Keyword Research in 2018 series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take data from an existing blog post that's already getting traffic and use that to generate new blog post ideas. This doesn't work all the time, but when it does work, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to have a new post with traffic because you're using actual data to your website. Your site is able to rank for those keywords already with a non-specific post. And that's it. Repeat one and two. This is stuff that works because your site has proven it can rank and get traffic for this keyword already. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. So for this keyword tip, I'm using YouTube. You may not have a YouTube channel, but you can do the same thing in Google Search Console. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But this is an actual example of what I did, how I did it, and how it worked. So what I did in 2015, July 2015, I published this tutorial, creating a uh, contact form using Contact Form 7, and that's all great. It was getting a bunch of views, and that's fantastic. It's from the lifetime of the video here. And what I found when I was going through the keywords, what I found was that there's a couple times people were searching for a two column contact form or contact form seven two column, which this video did not address. It was not about that, but this video is getting traffic for that keyword. So I decided to make a video for two column contact form. And this one, this first one was published July 5th. The two column one is right here, November of the same year. This is once I started getting some data because as, as you can see, it takes a few months for the data to really roll in. And then I made a second one. This is the two column, two column responsive form, which is the keyword people are searching the other form or they're getting the other video using that keyword. And that video had nothing to do with it. And this video has got, has received a whole lot of traffic as well. And it wasn't a keyword I found any other way. I never found this in a keyword research tool. I didn't find this anywhere except for my initial video was getting traffic for this search term and I decided that video was not appropriate for the search term so I made another video specific to that search term. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So if you go into Google Search Console, if you want to know how I got to this specific location, check in the previous video in the series where I show you how to log into Search Console and get to here and I'm just going to close out of this page. But in, in conjunction with that two column video, I also made a page. So if I go to pages here, because there's code involved. So I, I put the code onto a page and I link to it from the YouTube video. Now you might say all this traffic is, oh, that's coming from YouTube directly, but it's not. This is Google Search Console. All the traffic it shows in here is from Google Search. So I created the Contact Form 7 two column responsive form page where it has the code. And if we click on back to queries here, we see all of the queries that are used to get to this page. And now this keyword splintering, if we, let's just uh, view all of them. This keyword splintering only works when you're getting some kind of search data, which only works if you apply the very first tutorial in this series and target long tail keywords with lots of content. And once you're doing that, you get data. And you go through and you look for ones that your post does not answer and even if you updated that post, that post probably shouldn't answer those things because it's not highly relevant to that post. So for example, two column responsive, that's sure that works for that post, but multiple columns, maybe that's a new post right there. If we look through here a little more, this doesn't work all the time. This is, this is a, a trick that works often. You have to, it's a bit of work to look through these things, but here, contact form seven, first name, last name. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that search, but it, it gets a lot of queries. I'm sure I'm not ranked number one for that. Maybe I am, I don't know. But either way, it might be worth making a tutorial just for this keyword. And then of course, using the suggest tools to get more keywords related to that. So we can tap into more long tail keywords as well. But it might be worth making a tutorial just for that because it's not highly relevant to the current tutorial, but Google is presenting it because it doesn't have any other tutorials or any other posts on the internet that are relevant to that keyword query. Here's one in German. Earlier we had one in Spanish. Maybe translating it is a worthwhile endeavor. 
Contact Form 7, fields on same line. Two fields on same line. These two aren't relevant to this tutorial. That could be another tutorial to make. I would check, just like I did in the second video in this tutorial, check where I'm ranked for these and check how much potential traffic I could get if I was on the first page and then create content for these. And that's the entire trick. Use your keyword data that you already have. Find a post that's getting traffic. It doesn't matter how much traffic it has. It just has to have some traffic. And then look at the keyword data, which you can right now only get from Google in Search Console. You used to be able to get in analytics, not anymore. So as long as this still works in Search Console, we'll be happy, but they might take it out of here too. So get on it. It's essentially what I'm saying. Now we, we find these keywords in here that are related to our post, obviously, because Google's presenting our post for those keyword queries, but they're not highly related. They could do well with another tutorial specific to those. And you'll find that you can find a lot of these because if we look at how many queries this one's being presented for, this page is being presented for 874 different queries. As you saw, a whole bunch of them aren't relevant, but if you're getting anywhere over a couple hundred, I can guarantee that they are not all relevant to that page. And if those are ones that are getting traffic, if you're in the first page for those and you get good traffic for those, make a tutorial for them or not a tutorial. You might not make tutorials, but make a blog post or whatever it is that you create, create it for those keywords that the current post is getting traffic for, but is not highly relevant to those keywords. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And next up, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.